killed by elephants in Assam over the past decade. Mariam Krakata lost her 26-year-old daughter, Bobita, last October. Her friend, Litten Biswas, shows me where she jumped off the scooter and tried to run away from the elephant. Both sides of the tea garden had fencing, so my daughter couldn't escape. I never got to say goodbye to her. I couldn't even see her when she was still alive. Government officials say small growers are illegally taking over forest land. But a community leader says big tea companies are involved too. From our observation, from our organization, uh, 30 to 40 percent encroachment is from the uh, company tea garden. But the organization representing most tea firms, the Indian Tea Association, rejects this. It says it is not encroaching on forest land. The warden of Uralguri Forest says his hands are tight, as tea gardens have taken over parts of the forest that he has no control. There was plenty of food and water for the elephants. But later, because of the increase in population, tea plantations began in these areas. And because elephants don't eat tea leaves, they now enter villages and we see these conflicts with humans. A government official told me they had recently recovered some land which was being used illegally for tea gardens. It's a small step. But the bigger issue remains of how people and elephants can live together. Mariam Karkata wants no other family to go through her loss. Navin Singh Karka, BBC News, Assam, India. Now, still to come on today's programme, I'll be joined by the jazz trumpeter Claude Depper, a friend of the legendary South African musician Hugh Masekela, who's died at the age of 78. Britain is leaving the European Union. Talks are underway, but what will Brexit mean for the rest of the world? In Asia, companies that have invested in the UK are wondering whether they have to rethink their strategy and move their money and their factories elsewhere. Who will benefit? Europe's governments are lobbying hard to win their business. African exporters also sense an opportunity as the UK tours the world looking for new trading partners. President Trump has already